Well, well, it's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, January 23rd. I'm James Spann. A hard freeze warning tonight. Another big cold air shot early next week. And uh, maybe, just maybe, some wintry precipitation toward the end of next week. That's what the snow lovers are looking for. But that's out there in the land of voodoo. But we'll tell you what we know. Let's go in there and take a look out the window. And that's kind of scary looking. Uh, that's our Chiha Sky Cam. Uh, coming from Chiha State Park, and it looks like the entire Talladega National Forest is on fire. But that is a controlled burn, which they do from time to time in January. Uh, it's uh, sunny, and they're cold up there. They're sitting at 30 at mid-afternoon. That's our sky cam from Decatur, some high clouds overhead. They're only in the 20s up there. And there's our sky cam on the Gulf Coast. A pretty decent amount of sunshine on a cold midwinter day. You can see that new wave coming down the backside of the long wave trough over the eastern United States. That'll push down that new surge of cold air tonight. You can see it clearly coming in with the temperature plot up in the Tennessee Valley. They're below freezing. In fact, they're in the 20s at Coleman, Haleyville, Decatur, Huntsville. We've got upper 30s down here, but that cold air takes over and uh, uh, will drop into the 10 degree range tonight or early tomorrow morning for most spots around here. You can see where it's coming from. The gates to the Yukon are wide open. Quite frankly, the gates to Siberia are open, and they'll open up again early next week. Uh, we're watching with interest wintry precipitation over parts of South Texas this afternoon. But don't worry, that will dampen out and not affect us. The air here is going to stay dry as a bone. Now, off in that zone, there are winter weather advisories and a winter storm warning, including Houston. Now, you know, a winter storm warning in Houston is not the same as a winter storm warning in Chicago. Uh, precipitation out there will be light, but there could be some icing problems uh, later tonight or tomorrow morning. Around here, all of the colors in Alabama, the dark blue, that's a hard freeze warning. The uh, brighter purple, that is a red flag warning for a wildfire danger. And up north, a lot of wind chill advisories with a very cold air. Want to see some snow? Well, this is the chance of greater than one inch for the next uh, 24 hours. And yeah, a little chance around Houston, especially north of Houston and parts of southeast Texas and Louisiana. Uh, nothing around here, and we're just going to be dry for a while. This is the uh, QPF through Tuesday evening of next week showing nothing. And again, there's a chance, a chance we could see something toward the end of next week. And we'll talk about that as we go. Let's look at the modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at... 12 noon tomorrow, the uh, latest wave that brought the cold airs onto the east and down below that, it's just going to be cold. Uh, the GFS showing a high of 32. We start the day, uh, again, we'll say the range 8 to 13. The bigger cities will probably be close to 13. The colder pockets north of Birmingham may be reaching 8 or 9. Uh, but that's cold enough. This is the night you want to leave your faucet dripping and check on uh, elderly people that might not have adequate heating. Bring in the critters. You know the deal. And again, uh, I just don't know if a lot of people get above freezing tomorrow. But the good news, the wind won't be an issue and the sky will be sunny. Saturday, as we start the weekend, uh, we'll start the day down in the low 20s, not as cold. And a warming process begins. Upper 40s are likely Saturday afternoon. And here's Sunday. It'll be like a heat wave. The GFS printing a high of 53. Break out the tank tops. Uh, the sky will be mostly sunny, but don't get used to it because look what happens. Here comes next week and the next shot of cold air. Uh, it begins to enter Alabama. We could start the uh, you know day in the 40s maybe and the morning and then drop back in the 30s by afternoon as the winds pick up out of the north. And this is Tuesday. The uh, trough reestablishes itself. And again, there is a cross polar connection here. And that's pretty cold. That's a 1040 high digging down through the uh, Great Plains. Tuesday looks very windy, very cold. Uh, we'll struggle to get above the freezing mark with that wind. The wind chill index will stay well below freezing all day. And again, there might be a few flurries somewhere, but that's not the big deal. Cold is the big deal. Here's Wednesday. Wednesday morning will be very cold, kind of like tonight, tomorrow morning. Lows maybe 8 to 13. Uh, could be pretty similar to that. And Thursday still looks cold. I mean, uh, you know, Wednesday, I don't think we get above freezing. And Thursday, we might we might make a run at 40 if this is right. But that 540 thickness line is still not too far from Mobile. Here's a look at the uh, temperature plot coming off the European. You can see the weekend warm-up. We go back in the deep freeze next week. That red line is the uh, freeze line. 
And um, it is interesting to note that the model wants to bring in a tad of precipitation toward the end of next week. Let's take a look at that. This is the uh, GFS on Friday, January 31st. Now, the thermal fields are warmer on the 12Z run. And this might be in the form of rain instead of snow. We just don't know. You know, I mean, it, it's eight days out. Once we get within seven days tomorrow, we'll start being a little more specific. But to really get a grasp on this, we'll probably have to wait until early next week. But clearly, there is a chance there could be some light precipitation at the end of next week. If it comes in early enough in the day, it might be in the form of uh, freezing rain, sleet, maybe snow. Uh, here's the uh, European depiction of precipitation. Uh, same deal. This is for uh, Friday, 30, uh, 31st of January, showing a little bit over the uh, northern half of the state. And this is the snow depth coming off the GFS the evening of January 31st. Interesting, it puts down a little bit with a bullseye over west-central Alabama, where the moisture would be deeper. And I guarantee you, this is going to change a lot, and it might just go away. Uh, it is right now pure voodoo. Don't get excited. And even what we're showing now doesn't amount to much at all, but just something to watch in coming days. All right, let's go out there a little later uh, in the period. This is the 4th of February. Uh, look, that looks different. A surface low in the plains with a warm front lifting north and uh, rain here. This is the 6th of February. Got a cold front coming in with a good chance of showers, maybe some thunder if that's right. In the end of the forecast on the 8th, you can see how the flow is more zonal. The uh, amplitude is flattened out, and uh, that would be kind of cool and dry, but nothing harshly cold like the stuff we're having now. Getting some conflicting signals out there in uh, early February. Some of the uh, model, the global model runs have taken the AO strongly positive. Uh, this last run here of the European kind of keeps it negative. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but uh, clearly, uh, there, there could be some type of pattern flip early February. But again, the confidence is very low in being specific right now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.